biodiversity is, is such an important thing. Biodiversity is life. It's us, but it's all the other living things as well. And in some ways, it's a terribly kind of simple concept. If you think it's two words, biological and diversity. And biological just means living things. And diversity, of course, is a difference. So the more diversity of life we have, the more different species we have, the healthier nature is. We moved in here about 15 years ago and it was a blank space. It was just a big open field. There was some mature willow trees behind us, but they were cropped right back and a couple of big oak. Um, but that's all there was. Apart from that, it was just, just grass and it was pretty damp. Around here, there's a lot of native woodland. So we wanted a garden that's going to be practical for us, practical for the children to be able to go out and play. But because of our work, we don't have a huge amount of time to invest in the garden at the moment. So we wanted it to be able to look after itself to a certain extent. And most importantly, we wanted to be able to link up those areas that are full of nature, full of biodiversity. To enhance the biodiversity that was already here, there was a couple of big mature oak trees and just over here beside us. So we've left them alone, but also we've allowed this area to develop into a little wild area on its own. We've filled up some of the gaps here. So we've added in a native tree, alder. It's quite wet area here. There's a wet ditch behind us, so the alder is delighted and it's sucking up some of the water. It's drying that out for us. But meanwhile, the birds did us another favour and they planted some holly. The birds laid these little hollies down for us about six, seven years ago. And now they're supporting their own little community of life. To enhance the biodiversity here is there's a, there's a native woodland behind us. Um, and then further around in this area, um, we're, we're lucky in Donegal, we have a lot of woodland in this part of the county. Um, so we want to add to that, and we want to add in native species. So we have these tall trees here, which the leaves are just slightly tremoring, slightly shaking. This is trembling poplar, or aspen, and it's a native tree. And it's a great tree to plant in a wet place, because it loves to suck up the water. And then that water evaporates up and transpires out of the leaves as they shiver in the tiniest bit of breeze. That little song behind us is the robin. And robins in your garden, everybody recognises. But they're a wonderful bird to have for many reasons. But one of them is that they keep singing all year round. Not many bird species do that. And the robins will nest in low places. So they'll nest right down inside in the little ditches down in here. So keeping areas like this, where the brambles start to grow, I don't want them taken over the lawn. So I cut them back to just there, but allowing that kind of messy gardening, allowing that messy, that messy vegetative structure um, to develop along here allows homes for the robin, for the willow warbler, one of our most common migrant species, and so many other little characters that will nest in there. A few things that you can do, a few kind of reasonably simple things that you can do to uh, increase the biodiversity that comes into your garden. First thing to do is to plant native. And you might be thinking, I don't want huge big oak trees or big common ash trees, or I don't have the space for that kind of thing. But have a look at this little crab apple. It's a beautiful little tree, has these amazingly deep pink flowers in the springtime, so it's very, uh, very attractive, which attract loads of pollinators, really helps out the bees and the hoverflies and the rest. Another easy thing you can do, if you have a wet patch in your garden, is plant some alder trees. So behind here, behind these crab apple, are alder trees. And the crab apple are able to grow because the alder trees have dried out the ground. They've sucked up so much moisture out of the ground. And the alder trees have these little cones, which are like little, na uh, like nature's bird feeders. They're full of seeds um, and they'll attract loads and loads of finches that'll come and they'll eat them up over the winter time to you. So a really important thing for attracting biodiversity to your garden is think about what nature does. And nature likes a mess. Nature likes grass to grow long. It likes lots of diversity of different types of flowers, brambles, shrubs, and it likes messy trees. And we have a tendency to neaten things up. And we've been doing this since Victorian times, this, this new habit of trying to neaten everything up and have everything just so. But that's not how nature wants it. And it's not very good for nature. Now we need our practical areas, need the areas that we want to sit out on or, in, or enjoy our football games or whatever. But we also can leave little areas like this, doing something as simple as leaving the grass to grow. And then various flowers will come out of that. It'll shelter all sorts of little moths and little butterfly larvae and whatnot is a wonderful thing to do. Letting the brambles creep up along the edge of the garden. You don't want them taking over. You can easily trim them back, but they will feed so many different birds and other characters um, all throughout the year.